Wire. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Raymond Arity, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Bully. So, in the last episode, we got this ma magnificent Bullworth Bulls mascot costume. But now, we actually have to go and use it against the bullies. Or not against the bullies, against the jocks, who basically are bullies. So, they're more of an official version of the bullies, because the bullies aren't an official clique, but the jocks are. According to the manual, at least. So, now we've just got to pull... I, I guess what Ernest wanted is this costume to help bully the bullies, or the jocks. Help the... Get rid of the jocks, or get them under Jimmy's control, like, uh... Like he did with the preppies and the greasers and the nerds. So, yeah, this is uh, actually going to be the finale, as you can tell by the length of it. This is going to be the finale of Chapter 4, because it's two missions in one. Speaking of which, it is now time for the big game. Yes, Candy from Ohio. You would be a fair queen for me in that little thong. And with those massive piles of silicone, initially you'd think, who's that handsome stranger? Then I'd walk into the bar, impress you with my suavity? Um, my suavability? Uh, how suave I was! I'd look up and say, what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? And you'd say, Take me to the hay barn. Hey, Ernest. <laughs> What's that oh, you're reading? Nothing. Nothing. Just some... some history homework. <laughs> cool. Can I see? It's personal. <laughs> personal history. Sounds interesting. Yes. Well, um, you wouldn't understand. Anyway, listen. The big game is today. Operation Trojan Cow is ready to proceed. Operation Trojan Cow. It's my master plan. My spies have already been gathering the information that will bring about the downfall of the jocks at this school! So I guess I'll be needing this. Does this work? Yes! Rendezvous with my agents in the field! Yes, yeah, so I have to dance in front of Tad, in, of, in front of Thad to unlock the gate. So, yeah, this is the cow dance, and I'm gonna have to do this a lot during this uh, during this mission. There's gonna be a lot of this, and also doing some errands. So, yeah, the cow dance success. If any jocks or cheerleaders or Mr. Burton sees me, then I have to do the cow dance, like this, so time to dance, better not mess up, it's like, yeah, just this dance is basically Jimmy turning from someone who's kind of serious and who will work for anyone who pays him or anyone who will get him closer to his goals, it turns him into a complete jackass by the way he dances, I mean, look at the way he dances and is like, how could you not call a, a jackass? Like that, like dressed as the bull as well. Like I've had experience working with people in mascot costumes. Like when I did my uh, high school musical that I mentioned Patrols back in the first episode of that cancel series, Ernie Stories. The we had a guy in a mascot costume, and it, and it wasn't a guy what? in a wildcat's costume. Like it would be, like you know, because in high school musical, because it's the, the wildcats. We couldn't we couldn't get a costume on eBay or wherever, so we just got a Winnie the Pooh costume. So I know what it's like working with guys in costumes, like in a mascot costume, and it can be you can, you basically kind of have to act like a jackass in order to stand out from the crowd, in order to actually be noticed and not be seen as a jarring distraction. Right, I put in this ball. Okay, these guys are gonna go practice. They seem a lot smaller than some of the other jocks, but no, these way. guys definitely are athletic. They definitely are part of the team. So, right, so let's see them throw it. <laughs> oh, that is great. Firecracker stuffed in a football. And by the way, for all those who say, oh, it's just hand dick, they don't actually use their foot. It's called football because the ball is 12 inches long, and 12 inches is a foot. So, anyway, here's more jackass dancing, doing the leg skip, the just waving arms around, going, all the time. Spe I have to speak with more nerd agents. There's, there was one behind one set of bleachers, this one behind Here, another set, this, this uh, a bottle of glue. of glue. 
So the first thing was uh, firecracker in the football. Now it's glue on the benches. What? So I'm, yeah, I'm going to turn all it. the jocks into Donny van der Beek. Just glued to the bench the whole game and never, ever coming off. Oh, that's great. Well, at least I'm going to get two benches done. So, one bench glued. Now we have two benches glued. And unfortunately, before I get the third and fourth benches glued, I uh, yet yeah, you see those guys. That means I'm going to have to do Come the cow on, dance. Let's go. Ready to go. Hey. <laughs> Move. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, imagine. I'm guessing how he must be feeling. He's like, God, this is so embarrassing. Why did Tad make me do this? Uh, actually, speaking of which, why did I... Oh, wait, another cow dance. Heck, because this guy wasn't watching. I have to do cow dances every time any one person watches. So if I'm doing it for a bunch of people, and then it turns out one person didn't see it, I have to do the cow dance again. So... Yeah, uh, I have to glue these benches now. That's three benches glued. And now we're gonna, at this last one, four benches glued. Very good. That guy seems pissed off for no reason. Be good, but not, not as, as good as, as wrestling. wrestling. Oh, that guy sounds Russian. Uh, <laughs> hey, he's glued to the bench. Hey, look, it's yeah, Donny Van Der Beek. You're glued to the bench. You're not coming off. And now we have to talk to only two more nerd agents. Uh, let's see. Okay, first, a firecracker in the football, then glue on the benches. Now, what will come from pee stain? Agent Bull! Okay. Before I give secret you any password, my ass. There's no the secret password. password. What the hell is Jimmy's body is doing there? He was just jiving. He was just, he was just vibing <laughs> while, while algae, or no. while, yeah, algae do? told him okay. to, uh... Here's the deal. Told the him, keep like, their to tell him the secret cooler, password. Go oh, to go piss in a drink. Ah, oh, lovely. Lovely. Uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. Go to the school gym. Oh, I certainly will. Oh, yes. Okay, right here. I have to go in and get past the cheerleaders. Oh, wait. They can all see me. Uh, move. It's time for the cow dance. And yeah, yeah. Go Bullworth. Yeah, this school rules. Yeah, come on the bulls. Yeah, cow dance success. Hooray. Yeah, and now I have to go and piss in this guy's drink while these two are watching. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Cow dance. Ooh. Yay, go Bullworth. We are the bulls. We're gonna gore you with our horns. We're gonna beat you all, because we're the Bullworth Bulls. Yeah, now we just gotta piss it. Oh, oh, that, oh, that feels so good. Oh, you have no idea how good a piss like that feels. And now we just have to leave the gym and see them drink the piss. No, no, no one's gonna screw up the game. The game's gonna be fine. Come on. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, wait, wait. Hey! Oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, boy. Yeah, pissing the sports drink. Now I have to talk to the final nerd agent and see what he wants for me to do. So just gotta ollie up these stairs. Yeah, that's most of the time I just fall on my face. When I do that, so. Your quest, young oh, Jimmy, great. Is this. Oh, Melvin. Oh, glorious. Melvin. You can't. Come the crap, you Melvin. can't really it trust sort of guys called times, Melvin. Getting old now. In fact, if you're wondering. Scattered you want to know what the first team. name of Big Smoke and San Andreas is? Uh, all right. Melvin. Uh, now I've just got to spread marbles all over the field. This should be good. If I put the marbles down, then the everyone will trip up. That, uh, yeah. Uh, just gotta make sure I get there. And there's three specific spots. I can't, I just have to equip the marbles, press R1 to throw them. Just like that, just casually throw them. And luckily they landed in basically the exact right spot. Uh, now just gotta throw the last one. And, uh, I just have to, uh, yeah, watch them, watch them go on the field. Alright, new playbook for the tag game. Okay. Let's go! Whoop! Whoop! 
<laughs> Wait, there's one more? Ah, oh, why didn't they tell me that? They should have just shown me that there were five on the thing, not four. That's misleading. Ah, oh, that's, yeah, it's not, it's, it's not cool to be misleading. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, my outfit is nice. Yeah, I know. Shows off my figure, doesn't it? But enough about me. How do I mess up those jocks? So, we only got one more thing for the jocks. Straight to business, eh? Okay. There's a switch box on the scoreboard on the field. Get to it and switch it. Oh, I have to switch the scoreboard text in the switch box. What will it do? It'll change the text of the scoreboard. Change the text on the scoreboard. I reprogrammed it. You'll like it. Jocks won't. Hey, out, peace dang. Everyone, get out of my way. So many people spawn in that cutscene. What the hell happened there? So now I've just got to go to the back of the, of the field because that's where the scoreboard is. It's at the back. Or actually, technically, it's off to the side. Yep. Oh, nice uh, grab. I think that would have been a cannonball if I'd done a, Yeah, that's a cannonball. So, yeah. Okay. Time for the cow dance. Boom. Everybody loves the cow dance. Although, I only got Mr. Burton. He seems to be the only person so far in this mission who does not like the cow dance. So I have to get off the field and uh, yeah, now I have to just go around the back and get to the scoreboard, go past the end zones here and this pole and this tree. And now I have to go here. So the original text. It's the original text says, Go get them, guys! The new text is, Jocks play with their balls. Indeed they do. They really love playing with their balls, don't they? Playing with balls certainly does make the jocks very, very horny. Who is that, Kim? Yeah, who is that, Kim? Oh, it's that little Squirt Hopkins. Yeah, that Squirt Hopkins. You're dead, Hopkins. Yeah, dead, Hopkins. Why don't you stop repeating everything he says and get on with it? Dodge the balls that Ted throws, pick them up and throw them back at the jocks. So that's how I do this boss fight, but I honestly don't know why these jocks are so angry at Jimmy. He didn't do anything wrong to them, like, especially. Well, uh, well like, ignoring, like, ignoring the fact that he beat up the the Bullworth Bulls mascot and took his costume. Then he rigged, he switched out one of their real footballs with one with a firecracker in it, which is based, functions like dynamite in this game. Then glued four of their players to the bench, pissed in their sports drink, threw marbles all over, over the field, and he then changed the scoreboard to uh, say jocks play with their balls, which, like, I mean, if, if you see what they're doing in this, they certainly do love playing with their balls. We're gonna see more of that. It's not gonna go away. There's gonna be more of it. So, oh, just gotta grab this guy. Yeah, knee to the balls. Then throw, throw the football. Yeah, throw right there. I think that's Ted because he takes like two hits and everyone else takes one hit to go down. So you gotta pick the ball up and throw it. Oh, yeah, this boss fight's going well. This is actually the, by far the easiest one as of now. It's easier than the uh, easier than the mascot fight. It's easier than Johnny's fight. Uh, so it's a st still, up to this point, the hardest boss fight is still Russell's from the first chapter, chapter one. Yeah. Okay, those guys are hurt. Yeah, this other guy, I have to get through him, but. It's just going to be more of the same, except I just have to remember to pick up the cola that the guys drop after I beat them up. They, they're not too strong, because like after three hits, they're already in the yellow. just have to get them out of the way. Ow! That that hurt. Actually, yeah, those firecrackers, they're, they're actually, those balls are all rigged with themselves. So, yeah, it seems that they knew what he did. And, oh, I got the sack. Oh, so I just got to get out of the way. Yeah! That that ball and firecracker took him down. Ooh, nice, the cola healed me up. I like that. I, I appreciate that. So that one jocks down, and now it's just to take down the two others. And then Ted will be completely exposed. He won't have anyone to protect him. Alright. He just throws this one here. Now I have to throw this ball back. And now. Oh, he's scared now. He's running off scared. Oh, Ted, you think you're so tough with all your friends and all that? Well, look at that. You just got the sack. That's 
right, <coughs> losers. Oh, yeah! Oh, Jimmy, you did it! You did it! I'm king of the school! Oh, you beat them all in front of everybody! Thanks for your help, Petey. Oh, this is gonna be great. So here I am, suddenly the king of the school. I never meant for things to turn out this way. I just wanted to control a couple of psycho kids and be left alone. But now I guess I'm certainly going to live the good life. Hey, Darby! Hey, Johnny. Hi, Yo, Jimmy. what's up, brother? Hey, Jack. So I'm like, you know, it's Jimmy! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're oh, funny, man. You are man, so funny, on? Jimmy. Oh, hey, girl, you're looking great. Ooh. Great. Thank you for that <laughs> show, Don. Wow, hey, Jimmy! Oh, yeah. oh, oh, boys, that's all I got to say. Later. So Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy. See you Jimmy. later. I love that guy. Bye, guys. Let's roll. Pete! Hey, Jimmy, what's going on? Everything. I did it, man. I took over this dump. These morons are my morons That's now. great. Just don't turn into a jerk. How could I? I? Hey, baby. How you doing? What you doing later? Just remember, Jimmy, not everybody likes you. Correct. They love me. Well, what about Gary? Gary? Forget about that twerp. Dude, it's me now. I run this place and you're my friend, so please try to be cool. Oh, man, you're bringing me down. Come on, let's go milk this thing for all it's worth. We might even find you a girl. Well... We've Jimmy, done it. Me, Jimmy go. Hopkins now leads all the major cliques in the school. He's now the leader of the nerds, the greasers, the preppies, and the jocks. They're all under him now. He rules the school. The bulwark is yours, Jimmy Hopkins. If any of you want to see how Jimmy ruling over Bulworth Academy goes, then I'd really love it if you all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, hit the notification bell so you always know when I upload a brand new video. Put a comment in the comment section down below to let me know what you thought of the video and what you thought of Chapter 4 overall, because now Chapter 5 has begun. Follow me on Twitch if you ever want to see my live streams in October when I have free time, and if you want to be in any of them, send me a friend request on Steam. Link to them is in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of my Let's Play of Bully!